All right, guys, so we're gonna change the oil in the can am using the Shell Rotella T6 5W40. Uh, from my understanding, it meets all the requirements that this engine needs. It's a full synthetic, it's affordable, it's available everywhere. So, of course, I'm gonna use it and it does the job. What more can you ask for? Rotella, if you don't wanna sponsor me, I appreciate that. Let's go. Shout out for Super Clean for sponsoring this video. I'm sure I'm gonna make a mess and have to use some of their product. All right, guys, and of course, a little tip uh, before you do the oil change, let the ATV warm up so it can cycle the fluid and so then it makes the oil change quicker and also gets all the contaminants out of the engine. All right guys, so after you let the bike warm up, first thing you wanna do is pull your dipstick out. Place that somewhere so you don't break it. Your oil filter is behind this cover. There's three T30s holding it on. Your drain plug is down here. It's about horizontally across from your rear brake pedal and that is a 17 millimeter. blessed that uh, Super Clean sent me that package because it will be coming in handy. Alright guys, so we got everything draining. We're going to go ahead and uh, throw in the oil filter, get that cap back on, let the oil drain for some more. When that's done, put the bolt back on, fill it up, we're almost done. Tip for you guys, there's a washer that also comes off, so make sure to either replace that with the brand new one or you reuse the old one. We're gonna go by the book on this one, boys. Capacity oil change, two liter. Started. Yep, we're good. All right, guys, we're gonna use some of the super clean floor absorbent and see how it does. Says it absorbs oil, coolant, and other liquids. So let's put it to the test. And as you can see, we got oil residue everywhere still. The Super Clean in the aerosol can, we're gonna give this a shot, see how this does. What I like to do is after I get done changing the oil on my bike or, or gearbox or diff or transmission on any of my machines, I like to as quickly as possible get this oil off of them. So what I usually use is a degreaser. We're gonna give this super clean a, uh, a test. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to sweep up the uh, super clean floor absorber and see how it did. All right. Well, looks like it got the oil up. I would say uh, it got it up. So that worked well. All right, guys, and that's how you change the oil on a 2020 Can-Am Renegade 1000. Shout out to Super Clean for sponsoring this video. Their products may clean up a breeze. And that's just another day. Hang with your boy, PA. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.